Sunday September the 1st 2013 and here I am in Essex on Foulness Island. Unusually today I'm uh, undertaking a group guided walk because uh, I'm planning to walk a section of the Broomway on Maplin Sands. Best to have a guide because uh, danger of death so I'm told although others have walked it um, previously and survive to tell the tale. This is a free walk, hmm, what number? 160 I believe. Um, not very long at all. Uh, walking about five miles today because the tractor is unavailable un unfortunately. So uh, we'll be walking two miles of on the land and uh, three miles along the sands. So, weather's pretty good, sun's out, a bit overcast, very nice temperature of about uh, 70 degrees and this is what used to be the old school building, it's now the Heritage Centre. Hopefully you can read that, 1846 to 1988, Foulness School. And uh, there is not an old bike park there for any old reason, but uh, it's telling us that that used to be the transport on the island. As you can see there. Got a timeline here of the history of Foulness. Hopefully you'll be able to read that or enlarge it. defunct church at uh, Church End with its rather crooked tower. As you can see sun's now disappeared and uh, grey and overcast. And as is usually the case historically the church is usually next to or not far from the village pub. This is also defunct the Georgian Dragon. However, the post office, which is next door, is still operating. That's a rare sight, a car. In the sense of the uh, number of cars on this place. Reminds me a little bit of Sark. Today we've, uh, as I said earlier, not been able to get the tractor ride down so we're walking uh, along a very pleasant greenway here. The landscape is either military or uh, agricultural. Here hiding in the grass, about a metre away from me, is a hare. So one mile in, much uh, flat level land, agricultural land thus far. Just like everywhere else in the country, or the southeast. Bone dry. You'd never believe there was a deluge down here last Sunday. Sea walls just coming into focus now on the horizon. View back towards Church End, which is only two miles precisely away. Just a little reminder of uh, what we have to contend with down here. And uh, another one of the uh, lookouts 
wind's picking up now as we approach the river. Not actually much to uh, report back on this far though, thus far though. Now at Asplin's head. Information panel here about the Maplin Sands area. Usual uh, estuary vegetation here. With uh, some of that. Um, What's this yellow one called? Hemlock, is it? There is the uh, tidal Thames way out there. Looks like there's another brave soul out there giving it a go. Or is it two people? I think it's one. Walking through what was uh, a testing area for oil and gas apparently. Hence the um, circular surround here. You see walking on uh, seaweed here of various kinds. Not dissimilar to uh, walking out at Hunstanton into the wash. I think it's questionable whether you're going to need a guide to do this actually, but I'll soon find out. Looking across at Sheppey, several miles out to the uh, water's edge apparently. Former gun emplacements there. That gadget over there is used by the military to test ejector seats. I'm stood here next to uh, one of the marker posts, which is about 25 30 foot high. The 1980s built Haven Gore Bridge. And alongside it, Haven Gore Head. It's four o'clock now, tide turns at 4.30 apparently, and comes in pretty rapidly. Miles and miles of uh, loneliness out here. As we now approach Waker Inn Stairs, where a coach takes us back to Church End. Towards that watchtower there. Okay, so that's the end of the walk in. Uh, it was exactly six miles from Church End to here, Wakering Stairs, 
It took us almost precisely three hours, half an hour per mile, so um, pretty average rate. And uh, you could probably get away with walking boots and gaiters on that section, although clearly it's better to have Wellingtons. So that's the broomway done.